I'm going to give you a little tour here of the, uh, the state capitol in Atlanta, uh, in particular the, the carvings of the um, the desks and the appropriation. I mean, in the uh, the Senate and the House, uh, we were commissioned to do the uh, a desk that matched them in the Appropriations Committee, which sat in between the two. Um, and this is mostly about these capitals that you see here. These uh, were hand carved, you can tell by the irregularities in a lot of them, which is very interesting. They were probably carved uh, just before 1900, which was when the capital was finished there in the uh, classical revival style, uh, which to use all kinds of different ornaments from classical antiquity and, and put them together with a little bit of Victorian flair. <laughs> and um, it was really great. Uh, we did this all in white oak, Georgia white oak. We had the trees cut and we dried and slabbed them up into boards and dried them and got a real nice consistent wood out of it. Um, these were all these capitals were all straight up and down the grain was in order to get uh, get these shapes uh, and have the grain go in the right direction for the chisels and you know not have each side come out different differently uh, they're very interesting if you look if you go back through them you can see how each one is different. Each one has its own personality. Some of them have uh, the bullets, the flat parts are bigger. Some parts of some of them, the spaces are bigger. Some of them flare out a little bit more. Some less. Some have a really nice shape. And probably all be done by the talented masters. And some of them were kind of flat and lifeless. Uh, the flowers were done differently. Um, of course, we did all the moldings and these friezes. That's a particularly nice looking one right there. Uh, the knobs, these knobs, drawer knobs, handles, I mean, we did all that. Um, there were probably 12 or 15 different moldings on the front. Some of them hand carved, denticulated moldings, uh, panel moldings, little, little turned rosettes. Um, so it's been a real interesting project. And I've got, this is some of the old initial flower, film that I took while I was uh, just getting back. started and needed a reference. Because um, we live a couple hours away from Savannah. I mean, of Atlanta there. So uh, I remember one day I was bringing one of my prototypes up, traveled for about two and a half hours to the capital, and I was so proud of my... And the edges go in. Carving that I had just done, and we were getting so close. And I was walking up the steps, and there was some senator walking down, and he said, You did that with a Dremel tool. And my heart <laughs> kind of sank. Lily really had no idea the number of hours that we'd put in hand carving these things.